Alright everybody, this is late, I know, but uh, all my Stranger Things videos have been late, so Stranger Things 4, touch meeting, reaction, here we go, 1, 2, 3. So, you have a new season of Stranger Things for me? Yes, sir, I do. And guess what? No. Frickin' Hopper is alive. Oh, man, it must have been tough for him to survive that big machine explosion that vaporized everyone in the room last season. Actually, it was super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, game. really? Yeah, see, check this out. He got out of the way. What? Yeah, it turns <laughs> out that was an option that was on the table just jumping out of the way. So he's alive. He didn't die. Well, well, okay, that was easy. Yeah, but see, then it turns out he was picked up by some Russians who somehow got there before the Americans arrived and they put him in this crazy Russian prison. Oh, those are in Russia. And so Joyce and Murray are gonna have to head over there and help him escape. Very exciting. But then he gets caught and goes back to jail and they're gonna have to help him escape. Oh, but then later they're gonna escape and they realize they gotta go back. So they're just kind of going in and out of prison this season. In and out for hours, sir. Plus <laughs> Hopper has like a broken ankle and probably frostbitten feet. Man, that's probably gonna complicate things. Nope. Oh, okay. And we're gonna have this <laughs> nice reunion with him and Joyce and they're actually gonna kiss. Oh, yeah, it's really nice and he lets her know that he's been eating maggot filled bread for months oh my god yeah so you can imagine how that kiss tasted okay enough about the russia stuff what's going on with the upside down what's the big threat this season oh we got this new bad guy this season oh boy so what's his deal he's this super scary guy he's bald and slimy looking he's got like dark magical powers right and many years ago when the hero was young they somehow defeated this powerful villain and he's been plotting his return ever since uh-huh so Potter. beyond all odds it's gonna be a group of high school students that have to take on this bald, super powerful magic guy. Yeah, I mean, I'm familiar. Wants to take over the world with his dark powers. Thinks non-magical people are beneath him. Name starts with the V. Yeah? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody's <laughs> familiar with Voldemort. What? No, it's not Voldemort. I'm so not talking like about Voldemort. What do you mean it's not Voldemort? You just described Voldemort. What? No, he's not like Voldemort at all. Does he have a nose? <laughs> so what's Voldemort up to? What does he want? He's not... Okay, so Voldemort is terrorizing Hawkins, and he's doing this thing where he's snapping kids' legs and blowing their eyes up. Oh, my God. Yeah, this yeah. cool new character, Eddie's gonna get blamed for these murders, so the team's gonna try to help him not get killed by the townspeople. Very nice of them. And so Voldemort needs to open up these four gates from the Upside Down, and one of the people he's targeting is Max. Oh, no. But right before <laughs> he kills her, they figure out that if she's listening to her favorite song, he can't kill her. And also, they find out the house that he's living in. How do they figure that out? Well, after he attacks Max, she's, like, doodling these little pieces of what she saw, and then Nancy is assembles them all together and is like whoa this is a house she was just doodling disconnected pieces of a house that then intricately assembled to form said house that's what we're going with well okay then and what else is going on well jonathan has a new friend named argyle and what's he bringing to the table a van and salt access oh sick and what's going on with eleven well she's been the living drugs. in california with will and jonathan and her powers are gone oh yeah that's right so she's gonna reluctantly work with dr brenner to get her powers back and go save her friends didn't he die in the first season wasn't he killed by a demogorgon it sure seemed that yeah. way because of what happened but no he survived how by not explicitly dying on screen oh yeah that does tend to be a great survival tactic it does so he's using this machine to bring eleven back into her forgotten memories of that whole experiment thing when she was a kiddo okay so she's remembering all these conversations she had with this henry guy that worked there conversations couldn't she not talk back then hey shut up and so eventually she accidentally <laughs> sets this guy loose not realizing that he was actually number one and he he hates Dr. Brenner and he's evil. Uh -oh. Yeah, so he goes nuts and kills all the other kids and injures Dr. Brenner. Why doesn't he kill Brenner too if he hates him so much? Unclear. But so then Eleven goes super intense and sends him into the Upside Down where he turns into Vecna. Who? Ah, Voldemort. He's from Harry Potter. Right, and so eventually we're gonna get to the finale and all the good guys have to do this eventually. crazy stuff simultaneously to defeat the bad guy. What do they have to do? Well, a bunch of them head into the Upside Down. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. And so Dustin and Eddie need to <laughs> a bunch of these bad things away from the Voldemort house so Steve and Nancy and Robin could go kill him while they're using Max as bait. And how do they distract the bats? Oh, well, Eddie does this crazy Metallica performance on top of a trailer and then one of the bats come flying in, he has to rush down and get inside the trailer and let me tell you, he cuts it pretty close. Why didn't he do that performance right in front of the door? Because being on the roof looks a lot cooler. That's a sure. good point. And later, 
Eddie's gonna die. That makes sense. Oh, you're not surprised? I mean, he's a seemingly lovable character introduced in a new season of Stranger Things. That's pretty much a death sentence. That's a good point, pretty but much. he does die like a hero by distracting some bats that didn't really need to be distracted anymore. Well, great. And meanwhile, in Voldemort's house, the other characters are gonna get choked out by some vines. Oh, no. For, for like 45 minutes. minutes. That's how did they not die? Unclear. And so then at the same time, Eleven is using her powers to go inside Max's mind to try to defeat Voldemort. Oh, how does that go? Well, they show their hands to each other for quite some time. Amazing. And at a certain point, it seems like Eleven's gonna lose, but then Mike tells her that he loves her and she needs to fight, so that gives her an extra boost. She just spent the whole season trying to get her powers back so she could fight. Did she really need a reminder? I just needed something for Mike to do. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. And at the same time, in Russia, Hopper and Joyce and Murray realize they need to join the fight as well. What? How? Oh, well, they vaguely find out that the kids are fighting some kind of evil back home, so they're like, hey, there were some monsters at the prison so maybe if we go fight them that'll help in some way because it's like a hive mind oh a very big leap a huge leap sir <laughs> but not only does it turn out they're right they do it at precisely the perfect moment wow crazy how stuff like that works out sometimes huh i know right especially when i've written it that way yeah so they manage to defeat voldemort <laughs> yeah. but then max dies which opens up this massive gate all around hawkins oh no but then eleven brings max back from the dead which is a thing she can do now oh great yeah and so then two days later <laughs> wait two days what happened how'd they get out of the upside down don't worry about it so they're back and the gates are closed and max is in a coma and the gates reopen and we're done wait what we're done check back in in like three years please oh, okay. so what do you think well it sounds like a great season hey what do you think we should use for max's favorite song well, i was thinking we bring kate bush back into the mainstream with that song running up that hill oh we're gonna give that old song a huge boost oh bringing back the bush is tight don't phrase it like that sorry yeah no, but we totally will though. <laughs> uh, so bringing back the bush. Oof. That's funny. I like how they were able to sum up that whole like 10, 11 hour season in like seven minutes. Pretty funny. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.